Ahoy, mateys, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate. I'm your host, Ripped Rick. Captain Ripped Rick to you. Today, we are actually going to adventure into one of the mods that um, we have in this. It's Coad Masters uh, Pirates mod. Um, in order to do so, though, we need to collect, I believe, one more thing. Just gonna check our, uh... Yeah, okay, so we definitely need one more thing. And that thing is clay. So let's go ahead and get out there and, and get to it right away. Um, we should have the ingredients uh, for everything else, though. Is that clay right there? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Awesome. So we don't have to go too far. We'll get a ton of it, though, because this, this mod does require quite a bit of clay itself. Just pro tip, uh, if you're mining underwater, obviously you're going to want to breathe. But uh, if you're underwater, you're going to want to be touching the ground because look how slow that mines, right? But if I'm touching the ground, it goes a lot faster. Just if you've never known that, uh, it is a thing in Minecraft. Okay, air bubble. Nice. Okay, that should be good. 64 is quite a bit. And it looks like nighttime is falling on us already, even though I just started off in my bedroom. We're going to go back up there. Let's go have a sleep, and then we'll get right into the mod. Now, I think we're going to work on the mod in this corner here, because there's nothing really there right now. And we got to space things out nice and evenly. Hopefully, we won't be, too doing, be doing too much traveling across the house um, with the way I have everything set up. But let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we are going to need a bucket. Would you look at that? There's a bucket. Okay. And what we first need to do is we need to surround the clay. We get our smelter. Our smelter will be put down in the corner here. Take a look at that. Okay, now the smelter uh, runs like a normal furnace, right? And the, and the only thing is uh, that it does not give you experience like a furnace would. Uh, but it does cook down cauldrons, rails, all that kind of stuff as well. So it does give you payback. So it's got it's got its you know it's got its little things. So now that we have that, well, let's go ahead and get um, some of the iron that we picked up last time from our chest. Oh, here's a zombie. There's a zombie in there. Hello. If you guys don't remember last time, we um we got some ore berry bushes and we went ahead and. Laid them out. Does not look like there's a zombie. There's a zombie down here. I heard a zombie. Eh, not my problem. Oh, oh, what we can do, actually. No, we'll just do it this way. I, I think, uh, I know we're going to lose out on some experience, but we already have plenty of experience. Uh, do I have coal in here? Because if not, then we are going to have to do that. Doesn't look like we have coal. So what we're going to want to do. Oh, we do have coal in my inventory. Okay. My bad, I didn't see it. I apologize. Okay, so we're going to cook this. Now we have the smelter going. Uh, we should have some pieces of iron here. And one of these chests. There we go, there's our iron. So we're going to want to make uh, iron fence, or iron bars. And then we're going to need cobblestone in each corner. Our iron bars down the middle like this. And then one piece of iron on each side. And that will give us our cooling rack. Which is another block from the mod. So now we have our slag iron and our cooling rack. Our cooling rack, um, uh, the, this block is, is used to turn all slag items into their non-slag counterparts. It runs similar to a furnace. Okay, so I think we take the slag iron from here and we go ahead and put it into here, I think. Oh, wait, we need something else. Oh, we need a water bucket. Okay, so we need a bucket of water to start cooling stuff. Oh, that's milk. Here's a bucket of water. Oh, we already had one in our inventory. It's okay. We didn't want to use that one. Yeah, that's why we did it. Okay, so that will start cooling. And what that will do is that will turn it into our other slag counterparts, which are, um, you'll see here in a second. Oh, it just turns it back into iron? Wait a second. What am I doing? Wait a second. Okay, so that, that cools it back down. Oh, okay, I know what we're doing. Okay, and then in order to make um, what we're going for here, 
we need to, I believe, this will make our slag iron plates, okay? And then I believe if we take two slag iron plates and we line them up, hmm, hmm, hmm. What if we do it diagonally? Nope, nope. I, uh, hmm. Oh, okay. I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, and then our next step. Sorry about that. So anyway, we put our iron into here. We get our slag iron. Uh, and then what we do is we take that heated up slag iron plates and stuff. And then we go ahead and we need to get some wood. There we go. We'll grab this. We need to get a lot more wood, obviously. We're running low. We need a lot more wood because of what we're building. Uh, we need five pieces like that. And then we need clay in there like this. And then we will get our molds. And with those molds, we can create everything we need. So our first thing we're going to need is actually let's do two of those. I don't know if this uses them up. And then we'll do two here and two here. And we should get two slag blades. And now with those slag blades, we're going to come right on back, and we're going to cool them down, but it doesn't look like we have any more fuel, so let's go ahead and throw this water bucket in there. Let's go get, fill up our water bucket again, just so we, we have a constant rotation of, of water going in. And now while we wait for those blades to cool, we will, um, I'll tell you guys what we're making. Our first thing is obviously what every pirate needs is a pirate sword. Uh, I know we're going to do one with Tinkers, but I, I figured I might as well show the one that is part of this mod. So there we go. We have our two blades. Now with those two blades, we can um, go ahead and stack them up like so. And we get our Cutlass. Cutlass is six attack damage. Our Diamond Sword, a little bit more than that. But we'll put away our Diamond Sword because the Cutlass is definitely where it's at. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. Now we look like real pirates. Yar. We look like real, real pirates. Nice. Okay, okay. Our next thing is I wanted to create something that is actually was actually very cool. Give me a second. I will uh, go ahead and let you know how to make it. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna need to get a blade, um, another blade going. So we do that. I'm trying to memorize the uh, the crafting patterns as well. So we do that. We get one blade, and then with that blade, we're gonna need this, two ingots, and then two molds as well. And boom, we get two slag hooks. Now with those slag hooks, we're going to have to cool them, of course. But let me just go ahead and get to where I'm going. Got it. Okay, we're going to need to cool the, the hooks um, as well as a slag iron plate. But let's go ahead and run out and go grab another thing of water. Actually, what we'll do is we'll make an infinite supply of water and we'll put it up in this room because I think, uh, I think that we're not going to want to keep doing this. So let's go ahead and grab a material that we know we're not going to use plenty of, which is sandstone. And we will go ahead and boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's almost perfect. Okay. Like this. And then we're going to go ahead and drop that bucket of water in there. And then let's go ahead and take this guy out. And while that still has power, we're going to, we're going to uh, cool down the slag iron. Let's go ahead and fill these buckets of water up, huh? Just so we have a, a, a concurrent amount of water going in and out. I know I keep saying that, but it is important. Uh, we never know when we're going to need it, perhaps for another mod or something like that. Okay. There we go. Now we have an infinite water supply going on here. We'll drop this bucket back into one of these chests. This chest with the, the other buckets. And we'll come on back over here. We'll pick up this. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, no. Oops. Okay. Well, that's fine. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll have enough. No, it didn't. It's okay. Good thing we put that bucket of water in there. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab another bucket of water. And we'll just go ahead and drop that in there for next time we're going to be using it. We have a lot of slag iron. Don't know what we're going to do with it yet. We'll just leave it in there and save it in there for a while. Uh, and then now, so now what we need is we need, hmm. We need wood. Looks like we're gonna have to go get some wood, and I don't have—I don't even have enough to make myself a pickaxe. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go get some wood. Uh, just over here, not too far. As you can see, if you did not notice last episode, I did install a minimap mod with coordinates. I know our houses is about three, three hundred and twenty and zero. 
on the map. That's where I built it. Um, yeah, and so so if you didn't notice, and then I can also hit uh, what is it X, and you can see a, a bigger map of it, even though it doesn't really zoom in or anything. Um, but yeah, like it zooms in, but you can't really see much more by doing that. At least on my screen, you can. So let's go ahead and just do a couple of these guys, and then we'll go ahead and make our pickaxe or our axe. There we go. And let's make an axe. There we go. We have tons of iron now because of our mining expedition that happened last episode. If you didn't see it, uh, I encourage you to check it out. I know it's not the most exciting thing to watch somebody mine, but it, it is cool to see what I, I ran into down there and see that I did do it all legit. Uh, because that's very important to me is, is knowing that I'm not I'm not cheating and running ahead for you guys. It's important to me that, that you guys um, know that I'm playing the game very legitly and I'm having a great time doing so. All right. Uh, I don't know. We're going to need like a lot more wood, but I don't want to waste everybody's time by doing that. Ooh, this is actually important that we get the saplings for this one because we're going to want some oak wood. Just because it's nice to have instead of just using acacia all the time. Uh, for our pirate ship. You know, we may not want an orange pirate ship, so we need to keep track of the other woods that we have. You never know. By the way, if you're wondering when we're going to build a pirate ship, I have not decided yet. Uh, I think we're going to need to learn a little bit more about weapons and um, so that we can take over our old crew that kicked us out because um, that's important to me. Remember, you guys, you guys are, are pirates either alongside of me or you can you can you can live my role. But I mean, come on, give yourself a pirate name. That's what you guys should do down in the comment section below. Give yourself a pirate name. Give me a pirate name. Uh, I know I said Captain Ripped Rick, but if you guys have something better, throw it out there because, man, I am. I am looking for one. I think it'd be awesome to have a sweet pirate name. Where, where'd I put my axe? Oh. No. We need to go up. Up, up, up. There we go. Okay, awesome. And then we'll just replant this acacia. And now it's becoming nighttime, so let's run back home. Let's get another night of sleep. And then we will finally be able to build what I wanted to show you guys. Give me a second here. Yeah, we'll finally be able to build what I wanted to show you guys love the water so I was I was thinking about it and the ships mod the Archimedes ships mod which I think is, is one that I haven't stalled uh, I'm not sure if it allows you to create boats or, or just flying machines I'll have to check into it obviously um, for you guys because I think it'd be cool to build a boat but if we had to build a flying boat I would not complain because then we'd be pirates of the air and uh, and that's that's not a bad deal at all Actually, let's go ahead and sleep before we build what I wanted to show you guys because it's, it's much co more cool to uh, have it completed uh, to to show off during the daytime. Okay, come on. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take our, our two hooks, one hook on each side. We're going to take our iron plate and we're going to want to put two sticks like that. And we get this thing called a boarding axe. Now, the boarding axe... Uh, is much like a grappling hook, um, except there's one main difference. It's not throwable. So you can't throw it, which would which would be very cool, but I, I am not sure that they, that they have thought about adding that. I'll have to look through the items once again. I'm not 100% sure on it. Oh my gosh, they do have one. Awesome. Okay, anyway. So the boarding hook is, is for, for something very cool, and that is it's, it acts like a ladder when there is no ladder. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click the wall here, and as you can see, we're going up kind of slow, but it's better than nothing. Like if you're scaling a mountain or, let's say, swimming in the water and boarding a pirate ship. Look at that. How cool is that, you guys? I thought this was like one of the coolest things in the mod. Obviously, it has durability, which is fair. It should have durability because it would be just oh so OP if we could just carry it all the time. Ready? I'm going to try to jump down and catch ourselves with it. Oh, okay. So you do take damage like that, but you take less damage. So it would be like taking incremental falls instead of taking one huge fall. That's very awesome, though. I hope you guys I hope you guys think that's cool because I, I honestly think it's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, I saw a chest in here. Here we go. Oh, I, I was carrying it on. No big deal. We'll use two. Okay, so we'll put two chests down. We'll, we'll, we'll put uh, everything over here that we want to work with. We'll take this slag out and we'll put it up in here as well. It's just, just, you know, to keep it nice and clean. 
There we go, and then we'll put our iron back into our valuables chest, which is one of these, obviously. Uh, food, nice, and we have tons of bread, we have tons of, wow, we did really well on the food section. Uh, I think we're going to, no, I, I was thinking about running over to the town, but I don't think we're going to do that. Let me go ahead and look at the, the list one more time. Oh yeah, there's something that we did, I was not able to create yet. Uh, it's actually another one of the things that helps you craft. So we are going to need... Um, that clay again. We're going to need sticks. Clay, that should be fine. We're going to need sticks. And what we're going to create is we're going to create a um, spinning wheel. Now, the spinning wheel is used for rope. And when you when you have rope, you can do things like I mentioned earlier, something like a grappling hook, I believe they have. Um, yeah, so, so we'll definitely have to do that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make our molds once again. There we go. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and take our slag iron. We should put a crafting table over here. We know what we are going to do. We have one. Sweet. We'll just put this out of the way. Okay, so now with the with this, we are going to create our hooks again, which is the this, and then these guys, one, two, and then molds like this. Wait, what? Oh, I'm mistaken. I apologize. Uh, we need two, there we go, and then we'll, like that, and then we need another one here, come on, there we go, and now we have two more hooks, with those hooks we'll go ahead and cool these guys down, and while those are cooling, we need to create the next component, uh, which, actually we need to cool two of these as well, so that's what we'll wait on, we'll wait on these, these cooling racks to go, uh, so I will be right back when that is done. Okay, and we are back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this crafting table. I know that I had just set it down, but we're going to put it back into our inventory. We're going to create a crafting station. And this station will allow us to just put things in here and look away, and it will still stay in there. Uh, and then, so now what we need to make is we need to do this and this, and then, oh, we need more sticks, actually. I apologize. We need to grab this guy. There we go. More sticks. And now we put them like this, and we put a piece of wood in the middle, two hooks at the top, and two plates at the bottom. And this will give us our spinning wheel. And like I said, our spinning wheel is um, pretty important. We can create string with that. Now, in order to create string, it runs off of iron, and it runs off of wood. So what we can do is we can put, I believe, wood in there. Yes, you can, but it needs, obviously, to be pulling something. So let's go ahead and find our string. I believe we have a few pieces over here. Oh, do we not have any string? These are important to keep, by the way. Oh, it does not look like we have any string yet. Okay, so we're going to have to go out on an adventure. We're going to have to fight some, some mobs. But the string is used in here. This should eat up iron as well. Uh, let's go ahead and dump everything that we don't need back into here. So it, it's supposed to, or at least that's what it says. It says it's supposed to do that. Let's go ahead and see if we can't put iron in it first and then wood. Um, we have some, actually, while we're down here, we should grab an ingot. Because there's something else we need to do down here. Um, we need to grab this guy. No problem. Because I wanted to get this Tinker's Construct part going as well. Set this guy down there. And then in order to change Molten Iron and Molten Gold, you see how these guys are here and it tells us the ingots number. You need to click on it and it will put that at the bottom. And once that's at the bottom, we can fill up this. And now what we're doing is we're making a mold for bars, right? So now I can right click and get our iron back. And then I can go ahead and switch to iron. And now if I right click iron, it will pour Molten Iron into that mold. And boom, we got some more iron. Isn't that awesome? I think that is just one of the coolest things. So let's go ahead and do that a couple more times. Nice. And then it will also work with gold. Don't worry about them like molding together or something like that. Um, but what we will do is we'll switch to the gold and we'll pour it in the bucket. Now, a Tinker's Construct smeltery will do double. So if, if uh, you put one ore in there, you'll get two ingots back. So it's very important that you do use this when, when, when farming ores, especially if you're going to put it up into the Codemasters thing. Uh, I think it's very vital. Let's go ahead and put our, our gold in there because I don't really think we need to use it right now. Um, and then let's go ahead and see what this what the spinning will do if I put some iron in there. Okay, so it's not it's not doing anything. 
cool. Okay, so I'll have to do some research on that, you guys. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please don't be afraid to hit that like button. Uh, I was hoping we could maybe break 40 likes today. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be really cool if you guys would put forth the effort to do so. Only if you liked it, though. I, I don't want I don't want you guys to feel pressured like you have to put a like. I mean, like it if you like it, you know? Uh, sorry, sorry to rant there. Um, thank you so much. If you guys are new here and you enjoy the Pixel Pirate series, I encourage you to watch recent episodes. If you guys um, like the channel and you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, uh, may your booty be plentiful and your... your um, your ship sail through the sea like no other. Bye.